Hello, my name is Jennifer Heintzis. I joined the animal welfare team in September as a new PhD student. I've worked on abnormal repetitive behaviors in captive elephants and on impulsivity in laying hens. Since my master's program, I've been working at a zoo slash aquarium as an animal welfare specialist where I developed their animal welfare assessment program. In the zoo field, we frequently have to use no contact methods or low stress handling for moving animals and positive reinforcement training in order to perform certain behaviors and veterinary checks. Therefore, I'm interested in bringing some of what I learned into theory research. Since joining, I've taken over the research being worked on by Julia Lom. I'm interested in studying differences between heifers trained to enter a chute using positive reinforcement training and control heifers moved using low stress handling techniques in order to reduce the amount of time spent moving cows. I have some videos of the heifers we've been working with thus far to show to better show the potential practical application of these methods. Specifically, these videos can show how target training can improve efficiency. <laughs> so this video right here is a control heifer being moved into a chute using low stress handling methods. You can see two students moving the heifer from one location and attempting to move them into the chute. Uh, the whole video clip takes around 45 seconds to do from the point that they're released to actually getting them into the chute. We're not gonna spend the whole time watching all 45 seconds. So this next video uh, is a heifer that was trained using positive reinforcement. Specifically, as you see here, she was target trained. This process took around nine seconds to get from the opening of the door. These videos were taken on the same day and show some of the great results that we have achieved with target training. While I'm in the process of video watching and writing up a paper for these results, my next steps are to use these training methods as these heifers encounter their first artificial insemination and move towards training use of the a, um, towards training during use of the AMS robotic milking systems. I also am considering training methods that are more hands-free. These studies are all in an effort to improve on-farm animal movement by identifying novel, low-stress handling methods that also promote positive emotional states. So that is it for me. Thank you so much.